guys since I am basically just giving tips and tricks. Um, so let me tell you something. Uh, you guys see this line right here. You might be wondering why am I not erasing it. Because oil pastels are like really smooth, you guys know. And like, they'll cover anything. That's why people use oil pastels and crayons. Because like, they'll color all the white circles and stuff. So basically, I don't erase this because it's not gonna, um, show show it from the oil pastels as you as you guys can see from maybe my last video or some of the past videos I've been doing. I haven't been erasing any of my well I would say I wouldn't I would just say mess ups but you guys get it. The word's not popping into my the word's not popping into my brain right now. But yeah, that's why I don't erase my mess ups um as much as i should be doing if i didn't have oil pastels because then that would be a bummer it would actually show a lot but like you can erase it okay you can erase it but we all know it might show like because some some times you don't feel like erasing erasing it to the point where it doesn't show so that's why i suggest you get oil pastels so yeah let's get back to it okay guys i had to take a break because as you know this gun is oh my god look at this this gun is so big now look i'm not even done but i thought i was gonna run out of space going this gun but obviously no but because you guys saw the video if you guys haven't, make sure you go check that out. Because that was a really cool video. Cool music and everything. But next, let's not get into that now. I thought I was going to run out of space. Um, drawing this, this water gun. But no. That's not the case. Um, if you guys can hear. I'm sorry, it's kind of stunning outside. It's starting to. Um, I'm still trying to get a full shot of this, zooming out, because it's so big, but that's not going to happen. But, if I can't draw this, like, if I thought I was going to run out of space drawing this gun, imagine this, guys. So, give me luck if you guys think I can, I can, um, draw it, because... I don't know guys, this is really, really big. Hey guys, as you can see, I am not done, but I decided I'll just do the debates right now. Now obviously, first thing when I look at this, I think it's, oh, okay, it's a great size for a water gun like this. But then, once you see, this one, you're like, okay, this is the smallest water gun I I have ever saw. Really. So, like, obviously, bigger the better. So, first thing on my list is a check. This is the, it's the best, I don't know how to say it. It's not the best bigger one, because we already knew this was the big the bigger one when we when you just see it it's so big so i'll just say it's a check off which one is the bigger one you can already see but now holding um 
I don't know, because they both work the same way. You have to pull this forward and pull it back to spray the water out. So, one thing that's not good, I don't really like this um, fake trigger. Um, they're both fake, but this one can actually, this one can actually move. But, like I said, I kind of want to see one that the triggers are actually real because that would be cool. So, those are both X's, no checks. But, the water is like the best. I mean, look at this. It's full. Like, you can see the water from here, how much you have left if you're running out. But on this one, you can always just shake it and see how much. So, that's not really that bad. But to open it, super easy. And then, ooh, stay open, stay open. But then, the, the best deal is look how much space the water can go. Like, you can see if you're running out, just quick open it. And you can see, or like I said, you could shake it. Or another way is you can you can just look through through here. But what you can't you can't do that on here because no see through or nothing. But then another thing that obviously bigger is the better and look inside not as much space not as much space as you know this one so my last check is how good it is sorry I was putting the charger into the phone so, honestly, I think this is the best. How good it is. I mean, you can see how much water you have left. The water opener, I guess I'll just call it that. Quick and easy to, op to open. Um, I've actually played water guns with this one. I've played it with both. But this one is kind of harder to, like, pull back. And forward, because, like, especially when the gun, the water gun is full, like, it's really hard. So, I, the winner is, hold on, let me announce the loser. This is the loser. Get out of here. We hate you. Sorry for being so aggressive with it. But this is the winner. Check, check, good. So, I am about to show you the final, um, pro the final what is it called product of the water gun so I wish I could do what I did for the other video when I did a water gun spray it out but it's storming right now um, like if it's storming for you too wherever you guys live but um, yeah as you guys know our I just listed some stuff, good and bad, about the two water guns. Um, I'll try to get a cool thumbnail. If I can't get it, I'm sorry. Um, I'll, have, I'll probably have this whack thumbnail. But it might be cool. I'm still thinking about what I should do. But, yeah, that's not it of the video. You're going to see the final product. And I really think it's going to be cool. So, make sure you like and Peace for now. Okay, that is it for this video, guys. If you guys like the drawing, make sure you like and subscribe. Now, one thing I have to say that I'm disappointed in the winner water gun is, I'm sorry to say, but it barely has any color. So I had to make most of it white because that's really how it is. 
So yeah, if you guys like it, make sure you like and subscribe and peace. See you next time.